What is going on everybody back at it again with another YouTube video and the Sixers dropped a small move on Thanksgiving but before I get into all of that just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody that is watching this video if you are a supporter if you are just joining in uh, I'm very thankful for everybody who tunes into my videos and just know that I'm very grateful to be able to talk Philly sports with everybody and, you know, I love doing this, and this is only the beginning for this channel, and there's much more to come. But the Sixers signed somebody that might not ever see the floor, and Derek Walton Jr. He can shoot a little bit. He is small. He's like six foot. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about in this video anyways. I was going to make a video yesterday, but I got a little busy. Um, Lou Williams is a guy that I have seen get put on the trade block from multiple teams. And, you know, a lot of analysts think that Lou Williams could be on the move before the season start. And I definitely wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, Lou Williams is a great player. I mean, he's a sixth man of the year a few times. Um, he was a former sixer. He, he's just a good professional to have on your team. He's a great guy off the bench. He can give you fourth quarter scoring, veteran presence, uh, scoring in general. Like, he could do it all. I've seen Lou Williams drop 40 points on the Sixers off the bench. And he, he's done it a lot in his career where he has just taken his bench scoring to an entire new level. And, you know, if you can give that to the Sixers, that would be huge. But, uh... Is it possible? Can the Sixers go out and get Lou Williams? I think they can definitely get him. Um, I don't know what we would need to give up, considering we gave up pretty much our biggest uh, assets to trade away in Al Horford and Josh Richardson. Uh, I would definitely not give away Matisse. I would not do a swap for Matisse Thibel for Lou Williams. Wouldn't do that. I think Matisse is a piece that you can trade in superstar deals, James Harden and, you know, guys of that nature. But Lou Williams, I wouldn't ever trade, you know, Tyrese Maxey or uh, Matisse Thibel for a guy that comes off the bench. Yes, is he a great bench player to have? Yeah, he is. But definitely would not trade one of our up-and-coming, hopefully, stars, uh, even in the league, for a... a aging player off the bench but he would be nice to have definitely and I would look at it for the right price now if you throw him you know Mike Scott in a couple picks or if you throw them I don't even know at this point but if you throw them some pieces and some picks uh I I do think you can get the deal done but it it would definitely help I just don't know if this team could actually do that. But there's also another name out there. So, Lou Williams, would he be nice to have? He would be great to have. I would love to have him on this team. But there's also somebody else that I would love to have. And I think every Sixers fan would also love to have him. And that is Derrick Rose. If Derrick Rose comes to this team, I mean, he can come off the bench. He could start. He could do anything. Former MVP, as we all know, uh, he, he brings you veteran presence. He he knows how to play the game of basketball at a very high level. As we all know, he was the MVP of the NBA at the youngest age that has ever been done. I don't know what the Pistons would want for a guy like Derrick Rose. I'm guessing picks because they are kind of in rebuild mode. But uh, I, I don't know. And we also did just trade with Detroit. So that's another thing. Uh, are we going to go back and trade with them when we just traded Zaire Smith to them for Tony Bradley? Who, honestly, I've heard a lot of good things about Tony Bradley. And I think he could really help this team out next season, if not this season. But um, there, there's some moves out there that, are still, that could still be done to fill some roster spots. Uh, definitely... You know, this guy's a small, small guard. Derek Walton, he's a small guard. He can shoot, though. He shot like 42% uh, 
uh, last year. Uh, he shot 41%, 41% his previous two years. So he can definitely shoot. And obviously, as we all know, look at the rosters from... Look at this year's roster to 2017's roster. Uh, you had Ben Simmons, JJ, Robert Covington, Dario Sarge, and Joel Embiid. And we were the third seed in the Eastern Conference, but we also had a lot of shooting. And that's why we got to where we were at. We also had a 17-game win streak to end the season. But again, shooting. Shooting helped a lot in those 17 games. Especially when we missed Embiid for, what, 10 of them? Shooting was a big, big factor. We beat the Cavaliers because of shooting. J.J. Redick went off. Robert Covington went off. Uh, Marco Bellinelli. Rashawn Holmes, even though he can't shoot. But, you know, you bring out that electricity in these squads. And, you know, the sky's the limit for them. But going back to that, now take a look at this year's roster. Ben Simmons. Uh, Seth Curry, Danny Green, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid. That's what I believe will be the starting lineup opening night. Is Ben, Seth, Danny Green, Tobias, and Joel. That is what I personally believe the lineup will be come opening night. I could be wrong, but I do think that that could be the lineup. And... You cannot tell me that there's a single player on the 2017 team better than this year. You can't. Ben Simmons is better than he was then. Now, Seth Curry, that's arguable. Seth Curry over J.J. Raddick, J.J. Raddick over, over Seth. It could go either way. Uh, Robert Covington might be better than Danny Green, but, you know, Danny Green is a professional. He's a champion. So you know he can get it done. You know what he can do. Tobias is better than Dario. And Joel Embiid is better than Joel Embiid then. So is this team championship ready? I don't know. They could be. They might not be. But they definitely could be. I just think that this is going to be a two-year process with this team. As much as I hate to say it, I think we'll be a very competitive team next year. Again, you got to add in that there is a new coach. There is a new GM. There, there's Or not a GM, but there's a whole new coaching staff that's going to bring the best out of these players. That That's what I believe. So I'm excited for this season regardless. But the Sixers did a little bit today. Derek Walton Jr., nothing too serious. But, I mean... Could we go after a guy like Lou Williams or Derrick Rose? And how how much better would that make us? Let me know in the comments section below. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoy your day. Happy Thanksgiving again. Very thankful and grateful for everybody that has been a part of this journey. So far, there is much more to come. Uh, have a safe and healthy holiday. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, I am out. Peace.